I, the, uh, the microcurrent method that I use in Hong Kong. I, well, I, uh, why I choose the industrial crush hand injuries is because I, I want to impress you guys. <laughs> that I, I show you, I, I haven't uh, got any uh, slides or whatever with me, but um, here uh, let me show to you some pictures. Um, this is uh, a picture of a, of a very badly crushed uh, hand, okay? You, can you see? Okay. And um, and this guy um, got the hand uh, crushed into the uh, mm -hmm. uh, an electric saw, and he's alone. And at that time, so he oh. just <laughs> don't give me that face. Come on. <laughs> All right then. So um, why I I want to use this? I uh, uh, because I uh, I want to tell you that. Even badly crushed like that, that with the uh, arteries, veins, uh, I mean the blood vessel, the nerve, etc., uh, is a, a <laughs> badly crushed. Then you can still use microcurrent to regenerate. And uh, this patient, in fact, now um, after two years, he got 95 to 97 percent of the hand function back. Yeah. Uh huh. So I, uh, he had the injury in uh, May 2006, and then he came to me at uh, to, uh, July, May, uh, sorry, July 2006, two months later, after having the uh, surgery to uh, screw up, uh, to uh, have the joints, I mean, the, the bones, etc., and also microsurgery for the uh, blood vessels and nerves. But then this patient, when he came, first came to me, he can hardly move the hand. His hand is just like this. And the circulation is very bad. So I, I just uh, show to you that after one month intensive daily treatment, this patient uh, can close up the hand, but uh, not, not a properly, not a proper condition yet. And the circulation has been a lot better. And then, um, and then I, he had two months of a daily intensive therapy, and then now his hand, uh, two years later, then is, he, he can have full function, almost full function, 95%, and a good grip, etc. So, right. I, how I use microcurrent is just very simple. I just uh, I use the I use probe. I use probe electrodes. I I work on all the joints. I uh, uh, basically is along the whole hand, and uh, it's very painful uh, during the treatment. But uh, so the, uh, initially the patient has to, you know, uh, after I, I I do a few area and then his. He has to do like that and rest for a little while and before I can start again. So anyway, um, this is a not, not much technique. I just use microcurrent on, on all the area that I want to treat. So, but then... Did you use biphasic? I, I use biphasic, yeah. I, according to Dr. Thomas Wing, my mentor in, on microcurrent, he said that um, I let the patient, let the patient's body to choose whatever polarity he wants. So he says, so, uh, we call it bipolar. So I, I, the, I, my, for my machine, the, uh, the current would alternate uh, within uh, two seconds. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah, so it's a uh, bipolar. And uh, I also use it uh, on the uh, acupoints the Kogu, this, this one, uh, but I, because I, I'm not using needles, so I just use one probe over the Kogu area and, and the other over, over a whatever, whatever area just to complete the circuit. And uh, I also use the, uh, the points on the fingertips. And uh, initially, this patient also got uh, stiffness over the whole arm. 
Yeah, so I, I also uh, uh, fix the shoulder, the elbow, etc. But the main point is still the, the hand. Really? Yeah. On that first picture, it looked like his two fingers were almost gone. Like, yeah. How, uh -huh. how, did, how did they he get fingers back? Oh, he, he, he had a surgery immediately. To reattach the fingers? Yes. Uh -huh. Microsurgery. Yeah, he, he, he just said, uh, I bring the, the whole hand to the hospital by himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. And then, um, but they, they, the doctors, the surgeon, uh, after they fix the hand, they, they don't expect him to get any function. Okay. So he, he, he can, his hand is just basically like, like this, can't move at all. Maybe a little flicker of movement. Yeah, so the doctor offered him to have another surgery so as to fix him in, in, in a grip like that, in a fixed grip. But then, but then afterwards he came to me, so I, I, this is the only hand patient I have. I mean, that badly crushed. So uh, I, I, told, I asked him, do you want me to fix it now or you want it to fix it after you have the compensation from the insurance? Then, but he said, uh, better fix it now, because I told him, if I fix it now, then you may not be able to get anything from the insurance. Then, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> but uh, he's happy about his hand. Yeah.